As reported by Automotive News, Vroom and Shift seem to be following in Carvana's footsteps on the way down. And shift happens when you follow Carvana. Yep. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal, to discuss Vroom, Shift, and Carvana, three companies that seem to be on the same destructive road. Automotive News reports online used vehicle retailers such as Carvana Company and Vroom Incorporated after riding high on consumer and investor interest during the COVID-19 pandemic, are facing a reckoning. We shared just a short time ago that Carvana cut 2,500 jobs and suspended executive pay after losing $506 million in the first quarter. Yeah. Vroom tapped a new CEO and said it would consider cutting jobs after reporting a big loss. Shift Technologies, Inc. also cut its corporate staff by 10% last month. The now-humbled disruptors, which just last year were tormenting franchise dealers with aggressive Super Bowl ads, are seeing their stock prices fall as their losses grow. Remember this Carvana ad with oversharing mom? Did I tell you I bought our car from Carvana? Yeah, ma. It was so easy. I found the perfect car. Under budget, too. And I get seven days to love it or my money back. I love it! I thought online meant no one to help me. But Susan from Carvana had all the answers. She didn't try to upsell me. Not once. Because they're not salespeople. <laughs> what do you guess who just checked in on me? Mom. Susan from Carvana. <laughs> we'll drive you happy. At well, Carvana. and then there's also this Vroom ad hitting hard on the adversarial dealership experience. Yeah. So, are you going to buy the car? Please, if I could just go home and discuss things with my wife. I've been here all weekend. You can leave any time you want. <laughs> no! ah! Never go to a dealership again. Well, that was painless. Go to Vroom.com, buy a car, and we'll deliver it contact-free. Seems just like yesterday, they were riding high on the hog. <laughs> Rising interest rates and high prices generally, especially for gasoline, are undermining retail demand while wholesale prices remain high. For companies pushing to grow in a hot market, the first quarter brought a rude awakening. You have to plan your infrastructure to support growth over next year, said Sharon Zakfia, who covers all three online news vehicle sellers as an analyst for the investment bank William Blair. Mm. And up until January, I don't think any of these companies were expecting the industry to get as tough as it did, as quickly as it did. Tougher conditions will require cutting back in some areas as executives prioritize what they need to spend money on this year, she said. Despite the fact that the economy is failing, the job market is still hot, and interest rates, while they did go up recently, remain low by historical standards. Public dealership groups, which like many retailers have been emphasizing used vehicle operations while expanding their digital business, reported robust first quarter earnings. But these online retailers find themselves in worrisome territory. Whether they can contain costs and curb losses in the coming months will be crucial, analysts say. Well, they aren't doing all that great a job of it. Analysts who cover the companies told Automotive News that this period likely doesn't represent the beginning of the end for the online used vehicle retail segment. We don't necessarily agree with that, and neither do many of you. Yeah. After flexing their skills and vision during the pandemic, they now find themselves in need to reinvent themselves, taking a more measured approach toward growth to preserve cash and build toward consistent profitability. This is going to be a long process of slowing down growth and managing costs better, said Rajat Gupta, senior equity analyst at JP Morgan, who covers auto retail, including Carvana, Room, and Shift. Carvana, the largest of the three, is cratering, having lost $506 million in the first quarter. Oof. It sold fewer vehicles than it had planned and earned 23% less from each sale than it did a year earlier. And the company knows demand probably isn't getting better in the near term, said Daniel Imbro, a Stevens Inc. managing director covering the retailer hardline sector, which includes Carvana. Uncertainty about 2022 was an important theme this week when former Carvana employees circulated an email CEO Ernie Garcia apparently sent company-wide about the job cuts. In it, Garcia said Carvana's workforce is larger than needed and that the company can't be certain growth will rebound quickly enough to bring us back into the balance. Ouch. Well, sorry we hired so many people. That's what that says. <laughs> Rajat Gupta said, Carvana did a good job of scaling its business over the past two years when used car pricing and demand were favorable 
But the business was not built in a fashion to be prepared to handle a downturn like this, Gupta said. I think they grew a little too quickly and built a business for a much higher level of volumes. So it's a little unfortunate that they're having a layoff of people. You never want to do that for a company like this, but I think it's a consequence of the macro slowdown, ultimately. Sure. Carvana Company's disclosure last Tuesday that it shed 2,500 employees set off a ripple of reactions in the stock market and among social media users who said that there were employees included in the layoffs. Remember when I said in a recent show, don't buy a car from Carvana right now for any reason? Well, you can add to that, don't sell your car to Carvana for any reason either. We are just notified this week that a friend of one of our viewers, known as Dr. Sysops, got a bum check for their car from Carvana. He writes, I had a friend who sold his car to Carvana. They paid him way over book value and they issued him a bad check. Carvana has been selling stolen rental vehicles as well as flooded vehicles. Ouch. And they're now suspended in 13 states and Carvana does not buy leased vehicles like dealers do, including CarMax. When a company starts writing bad checks, things are beyond desperately wrong. That's right. All right, folks, if you wish to say thanks for our video today with a tip, the links you see here will be easy to find down below. And if you enjoyed the video, we'd appreciate you giving us a great big thumbs up. And please always remember to comment and share with family and friends. And if you're not already on board with us, please don't forget to subscribe. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer. And that's what we strive to do in every video we produce. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We gotta, gotta go. go.